Good morning. Good morning, everyone that has joined us this Sunday morning. Welcome to Ministries of Hope Christian Church Sunday morning um, Bible study. Um, we are located at 385 Garrison Field Road right here in Stafford, Virginia. Come on down and join us. The, the sanctuary is open um, at 930 every, every Sunday morning for Sunday school. So come on down and join us. We're under the pastoral leadership of our nice senior pastor, uh, Reverend uh, Flory Williams. Um, uh, we are joining us today. We have... Reverend Thompson, Brother Thompson, myself, Reverend Hutchings, and Minister Hutchings. Um, let us go to God in prayer um, and ask God's blessings on this um, Sunday morning Bible study. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, God, for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us one more chance to worship you, to glorify you, and to get to know you even more, Lord. I'm asking you to bless this word unto our hearts, bless it unto our minds, bless it unto our daily lives, Lord God, so that we will try to walk daily in righteousness. Anything that is not like you, please take it out of us, Lord God, so that we can grow more and more like you. Bless this word as we study it to get to know you more and understand you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Over to you, Reverend Thompson. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Hutchings. As Reverend Hutchings said, welcome this beautiful Sunday morning. Amen. We're going to keep diving into the word of God. Last time we were before you, we left off at 1 Samuel. Uh, we read the first um, eight verses where basically Saul wants David dead. And Jonathan warns David and um, he was supposed to go back and get a feel for his father and get a report to send back to David. Uh, we saw where Jonathan is questioning Saul at this point is where we left off. He's questioning Saul, basically telling him, David hasn't done any wrong in your sight. He hasn't done anything wrong to you. He hasn't wished ill on you. God brought victory to us through David. You celebrated basically, why do you wanna shed innocent blood? So that's where we left off. We're gonna keep going in that vein. Uh, minister, if you wanna pick up, as always, we're reading out of the King James Version, unless we otherwise state, and that's uh, 1 Samuel chapter 19, picking up at verse 6. Amen. Amen. And Saul hearkened unto the voice of Jonathan, and Saul swore, as the Lord liveth, he shall not be slain. And Jonathan called David, and David showed him all those things, I'm sorry, and Jonathan showed him all those things, and Jonathan brought David to Saul, and he was in his presence as in time past and there was war again and david went out and fought with the philistines and slew them with a great slaughter and they and they fled from him amen mm -hmm. amen, mm -hmm. amen. Mm -hmm. so you see you see there where um after he he said that nothing would he swore in the name of as the lord liveth that nothing would happen to david then mm -hmm um he came he was now in his right mind and and he david was in his presence again like you know before so it's like times like those are when you know he should have been seeking god now mm -hmm. but instead you know he he is he's just there not and we get complacent like that too when everything is going good, we we just don't even remember to to reach out and say anything to the Lord until something starts going wrong. We shouldn't be complacent at all because at all times, as the Bible says, we should be talking to God. Yeah. Prayer is nothing but talking to him constantly for mm -hmm. his guidance, um, um, asking him to, you know, ha have you do the right thing, say the right thing, go the right place so that he, he at all time can be glorified through your words, your actions and your deeds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And as you see here, you know, God is, you know, keeping David during this time. Because mm -hmm. as we state before, even though it's, you know, just going from one verse to the next, you know, time is, you know, passing. Because, you know, as I said, there was war again. So mm -hmm. it, it isn't, you know, a short, maybe a short day or so, you know, it's time between these verses. So mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. The Lord is, you know, everything is happening for a reason, you mm -hmm. know. So, you know, David is being protected in this time. So he, when he had, you know, when Saul's son spoke to him, John spoke to him, and it, and it you know, sort of kept more time to pass. So, because it wasn't, as we said, it wasn't, you know, necessarily David's time to move into that position mm -hmm. yet. So he's still, you know, keeping him during this time, keeping him protected and keeping those, you know, certain people around him and around Saul, you know, as his children to, you know, keep things going as you know, God wants. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's being faithful over the few that God has given him as of right now. Amen. You know, sometimes we want to real life move in front of God and, and mm -hmm. go in front of God and, and knowing, well, God promised me this. And so let me do everything I can to make it happen now. And it's mm -hmm. not so, you know, David was anointed way back when, as we saw in these, in these verses um, prior to that we've read in our prior studies. Um, but we see where David is still doing the work in the meantime. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to do. You know, God may mm -hmm. promise us something, but you still got to do the work in the meantime. You still Amen. have to work. You still have to be diligent. You still have to be faithful. You mm -hmm. still got to, as um, Reverend Hutchings said, you still got to pray without ceasing. You still got to call mm -hmm. on him. You still got to seek his face. You still got to do, do the, go through the process, you know, because God says in his word in, in Genesis, these things will stand seed time and harvest. So yes. there's got to be some time there before we reap the harvest. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us give up in that time. A yeah. lot of us give up in that waiting. A lot of us are not patient during mm -hmm. that time, you mm -hmm. know? And the interesting part here too, is that even though David is promised King, it seems like all hell is coming his way. Yes. He has Saul trying to kill him. He has a right. lot of stuff going on. It's not like the, the way is being made easy for him, no. you know, but God's delivering him from, as the Everything. Bible says, uh, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivers a, us from them all. God's Amen. delivering him from it all, but Amen. it doesn't, he's not giving up in that meantime. He's still holding on to yes. that faith, you know, faith yes. in God and that belief in God. Mm -hmm. And it's a prime example of what we have to do in the meantime, while until, excuse me, until that promises of God come, or we see it manifested in our life, we have to continue seeking God and staying at his feet and continue being diligent in the work that he's tasked us with. Yes. You know? And I love it here with Jonathan is that he's questioning his father and then he winds up going to David, you know, and he showed him all the things. And he then not only just there, he brought it is um, the Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers, you know, yes. and He's really trying to keep peace. You know, mm -hmm. he, he loves David, but I'm sure he loves his father, Saul, too. Yes. And he's trying to bring them. Not only did he did he go back and tell him, you know, he didn't just leave it there. He brought him to his father. OK, now I want to see if you truly saying what you said, your word is going to stand. I want you to tell that to David, you know, and he brings him to his father. And then we see as um, Brother Thompson said time has passed because there's war going on again. And here David is again with these Philistines and God is again giving victory, you know, mm -hmm. so we can't stop what God has for us or anyone else, you know. And so the best thing is just keep working until God, he said he will exalt us in due time. Mm -hmm. You know, and due time is his time, not our time. That's right. You know? And we try to make it on our ter our terms, our way, mm -hmm. and our time. But mm -hmm. that's where disobedience comes in. You mm -hmm. know, because we we don't our ways are not God's ways, Amen. as the Bible says. So, God gonna give it to you when the right time comes. That's right. You Amen. know, we, we we try to give him the day, the hour. Yep. <laughs> the month it's gotta happen. Yep. It's gotta happen by yep. this time, Lord. Mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't work yeah. that way, like the Reverend was saying. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. And then too, he's gonna make sure that he prepares us for it. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. that we're ready for it. We see. Excuse me, I have a cough drop in my mouth, but we we see um, David being prepared for kingship. You know. He's out fighting these battles. God is building his name. He's building his resume, you know, amongst the people. And we see where he's being tried and tested through his relationship with Saul. We see where he is being tried and tested, you know, on these battlefield with these Philistines. We see where his relationship with God is being tested. Do you believe or do you doubt? You know, mm -hmm. so there's a lot going on there and there's a lot of moving parts. 
and we see where even this time he's not giving it to him preemptively because David could have become a Saul if it was given to him younger at a younger age, you know, where he, his mind with may not have been able to handle it, you know, mm -hmm. and we see, we see where David is kind of holding on. We see where Jonathan is holding on to God and, and, and seeking that, that peace there. And then we see where Saul is really set in his way. You know, mm -hmm. he, he's really that, we see where that spirit of discord, that spirit of, um, as the Bible says, that evil spirit has really come in and kind of wreak havoc in his life. To mm -hmm. the point where he, I don't even think he know his left arm is right at this point, you know? Mm. Amen. Y'all have something in those commentaries there before we move on from these verses? No. Can take a comment. Amen. Amen. So we get get to that next title there, because we saw where, and that was important um, in verse six of uh, that minister read right there uh, for all those watching with us this morning. As the Lord liveth, he shall not be slain. These are words that Saul has said, and he has said it to Jonathan. He swear, as, as it says, and Saul swear. And the Bible says, D don't make a vow to God. It's rather you not make it than to make it and not pay it. And he mm -hmm. put the Lord's name in it. Lord liveth, he shall not be slain, mm -hmm. basically. And we talked about how that's prophetic because he's not going to be slain. As the Lord liveth, God on his side. And who can mm -hmm. be against him as the word mm -hmm. But Amen. then we're going to keep on moving here because Saul meant it in another way, you know. And Saul tries to kill David. Uh, verse 9 through 11, right there, um, Brother Thompson. Amen. Again, 1 Samuel chapter 19, verse 9. And, it's, and it reads, And the evil spirit from the Lord was upon Saul as he sat in his house um, with his javelin in his, in his hand. And David played with his hand. All right, we pause it there. So here we are again, mm -hmm. where David is sitting here with that harp, you know, played mm -hmm. it in his hand, that harp. Um, he's playing. Remember uh, in our other studies, um, if you haven't seen them, they're housed on YouTube, but in our other studies prior to this, we saw where David would come and he was Saul's uh, armor bearer. And whenever that evil spirit would take over and Saul, David would play and it would bring him some peace there and kind of soothe that spirit. So now we're seeing where they're doing as they did before, you know? As it said in verse seven, that latter part, as in times past. So we're seeing where he's coming on that basic regular routine again, David playing in the hand. And we see where Saul has this javelin, which is kind of like a, if you think about jousting or something, it, it's like that long sword and it has like that spear on the end, mm -hmm. um, uh, javelin kind of like that. So we see that in, in um, Saul's hand. And that evil spirit is on him. And as we talked about before, um, as Pastor pointed out, is that when that evil spirit comes, you know, that's madness on top of that. You know, we liken that today to mental disorders or things like that. But we see that evil spirit that's on Saul to the point where sometimes you don't even know what's going on, you yourself, because that spirit has taken over. Mm -hmm. you know, so um you can keep going there. Uh, um, well, let's stop there. Let's read um, that commentary right there for nine. I mean, the commentary for nine states, holding a javelin while sitting in his house um, may suggest Saul's extreme paranoia. David was playing the lyre with his hand to soothe Saul's tormented mind. Yeah. Mm. So mm, that, that means more yeah. perspective, being paranoid. The spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep being paranoid yeah. sitting in there you have hear people paranoid they sitting in the house holding their guns and mm -hmm. waiting thinking somebody coming to get them you know suffering from certain things you know that have your mind going crazy mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. so he really losing it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at this point he's really losing it yeah even though he's a he's in kingship he's losing it mm. Mm. Come on. All right, go on. ahead. Go on yeah. verse 10 and 11. It says, And Saul sought to smite David even to the wall with the javelin, but he slipped away out of Saul's presence, and he smote the javelin in into the wall, and David fled and escaped that night. Hmm. 
And Laban says, Saul also sent messengers unto David's house to watch him and to slay him in the morning. And Michal, David's wife, told him, saying, If thou save not thy life tonight, tomorrow thou shalt be slain. Okay, so we see. So this is another one of Saul's children warning yeah. David again. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The one, the one he thought he was setting up to be a, a snare. To, to, him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we see where she, she's all about truly in love, and this, mm, you see that where, you know, when God tells you to move, as you, as you were talking about, Reverend Hunter, when God tells you to move, you know, you got to move because yeah. you see here where David, you know, escaped. It says that. Saul wanted to do this javelin, but David, he slipped away. Mm -hmm. So without him seeing, he slipped away, didn't even know he was there. So he probably got up, you know, <laughs> I can imagine just that scene, you know, from Color Purple, where after she slapped him, was like, oh, time to go. You know, everybody packing up, leaving. <laughs> you probably skipping out, you know, David, oh, well, you got to just, it's time to go. You know, so he like getting out, uh, uh, fled that night. And then he gets there and his wife says to him, you know, if you don't leave tonight, by tomorrow, you're going to be dead. You'll be gone. Like, that's how bad my father wants you gone, you mm -hmm. know. And it's sad to see how far Saul has fallen. Mm -hmm. You know, how far he has fallen from mm -hmm. the path that God has set for him, you mm -hmm. know, just off of the choices that he's making mm -hmm. and the decisions that he's making and how much he has let that paranoia and that spirit just rule, you mm -hmm. know, and not seeking God. And then you see David where his life is being threatened at all costs, but he's still hanging on to God, yeah, mm -hmm. hanging on to God. Mm -hmm. you know, and that, that goes for us today. You know, our lives, our livelihood, our peace, everything is being threatened you know you just turn on the news you look around it's, you can't even go to worship places now you know you, people scared to go to grocery stores they're scared to do this for the mass shootings and different things that are going on but we got to still stand it's all around us we're perplexed on each side but mm -hmm. not distressed you know we're still still holding on you got to still hold on to god you know that mm -hmm. hope that is in god mm -hmm. because I'm sure David fought a many battles, so he's probably looked death in the face plenty of times. Plenty of times. As a minister had reminded us last study about him being in the woods, being in the wilderness, you know, with them sheep, him being there and the bear and the lion, him having to look death in the face a lot of times, mm -hmm. you know? So it's like, even when you're uncomfortable, are you still going to stand for God? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or is it only when you're comfort? when you're in comfort and when things are going good, mm -hmm. right. you know, mm -hmm. you know, and it, and it references, sorry, it references Psalms 59, where it's just that whole, you know, chapter is just talking about, you know, going to God, asking for protection against everything. Mm -hmm. All yeah. these things, they come at night, they scheming against you, you know, you know, not for anything that you did, just for their wickedness, just in general. So mm -hmm. it references all of Psalms 59 from, from one to 17, just, you know, speaking on what you're just talking about, every, you know, you never know when it's going to come, how it's going to come and what, you know, from what direction and by who. So mm -hmm. you just got to you know, ask God and for protection. Amen. Amen. Stay armored up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, you can see, look, look at David, they, all, all this time he was in Saul's presence, right? And mm -hmm. him and Saul was good. And when he saw that the evil spirit took him over again, he took the harp, the lair to play, to calm him mm -hmm. and, and everything. He's still trying to help his enemy. Yeah. yeah. He's still trying to help him. He's still trying to get him back right, get him back on the right track, have the, mm -hmm. the, the spirit leave him because that's how it leave him when he, he plays the, mm -hmm. the music, you know, he's still, he's still trying. And how many of us do that? Try to help mm -hmm. our enemies, no matter what, yeah. you know, try to help the ones that we know despise us and, and mm -hmm. spitefully use us as, as the Bible says, how many of us still try to help them? You yeah. know, we just need to take that's why David is the apple of God eye. You know, mm -hmm. that's why, you know, he, he is such a great example for us to look at in the Bible and say, would I do that? Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. 
Could yeah. I do it? Yep. Could I do that? Yep. Somebody done tried to kill you a couple times <laughs> and you still trying to to soothe their pain. You yeah. know? Yeah. I don't know. You know? Yeah. You strong, strong yeah. enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we did talk about that too. I don't yeah. know. I don't know about that one, you know. know. <laughs> give it the what it pass to take, give it to God. God gonna have to see through it. <laughs> you know, he just <laughs> Look, I, I love David before, but getting yeah. diving deeper into it is like I, I I'm falling in love with David all over yeah. again. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. like, God, get, let let me be as humble mm -hmm. as David. Mm -hmm. Let me be, you know, um, yeah. seeking after you like he does. You know, it's mm -hmm. like every day more and more we get we dive into this word and you learn more and more uh it's like like sam says as the heart panted after the water brook so panted my soul after you oh god mm -hmm. it's like we, I, I i thirst to be as mm -hmm. humble as mindful as careful as as you know loving as yeah. David, you know, and then when we read even further down, you know, how he loved the Lord when he knows that he did wrong. And, you know, the more I read it, the more I say, God, just just help yeah. me to grow closer and be like this. Yeah. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, not because, doing his wrongs, mm -hmm. but, you know, yeah, having his heart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. His faithfulness. Because yeah. it's like it's easy I could say it's easy, you know, it's easy sometimes when you know that people are going through, you know, sometimes yes. they lash out and you can, you can take that, you know, it's easy to take that and roll it off your back or comments you can roll off your back. Mm -hmm. but I don't know the, the, you know, trying to kill you twice, you yeah. know, that, that, that's some, <laughs> that, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> you know. You know, how much you gonna take? You pulling a gun on me, now, you know, twice. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, like I could probably forgive you said you ugly or something like I, I don't care about that. You know, but twice. <laughs> you know, that that's the hard part, and it's true. You know, it's true because you looking, you like Lord, help me, help, help me, me, help me. That's help all. Me. <laughs> help me, help me. The, the, the Lord tells us to be wise too. Yeah, yeah. Wise yep. thing is don't put yourself in that kind of situation. Exactly. <laughs> Look, that's true. Look, because right there it said, and David fled. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he went dumb, though. No. He, he was being sweet, but he said, let me get on he the run. He know when to run, yes. <laughs> he so, know when to get out of maybe, Dodge. Maybe, that maybe javelin his, looking a little too close in the uh, tightness. Maybe his it's number is two. Go. <laughs> Maybe his number is two. Yeah. You gotta see if he's gonna be in that situation again. Yeah. You gotta yeah. read on. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. My number is one. He, his number is two or three. <laughs> <laughs> what they say, uh, fool me what? Shame on you, yeah, fool yeah, me what? Shame right. on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man. Mm -mm. Uh, did we do the commentaries there, y'all? Yeah. Well, we did nine. We didn't do ten. Yeah. Really. It just says ten. <laughs> yeah, speaking on what y'all just saying, that David fled and escaped, perhaps because he was more wary. After the previous incident, <laughs> he did not provide the king a second opportunity. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. He said, uh uh. This looking like before it's time to go. It's time to go. <laughs> yeah. Yep, there come that. Yeah, I said, be as wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove. Yeah, dove. You know, yes. you got to move. You got to move. <laughs> you see it. You see it getting sticky. It's time to get out. It's time, time to get. get out. Out. <laughs> yes, we've seen this movie before. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, Especially goodness. when everybody around him knows that he wants you dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know his yeah. son, yeah. His, even his children. Yeah, his own children are saying, mm -hmm. right. "He wants you dead. He mm -hmm. wants you dead." You know, and you can imagine the perplexity that was going on in David too, because this is somebody who, you know, he's he's looked up to at this mm -hmm. point and everything, and it probably hurts his heart. 
you right. know, that man, it has to end this way. You know, mm -hmm. like, what have I done? I haven't done anything to you for you mm -hmm. to hate me so, mm -hmm. you know? And, he, and he's, uh, you know, his, his wife, his wife is, is his daughter. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, yeah. you're not just my king. You're my dad. Exactly. Yeah. You know? Cause you're my father-in-law, you know? So, and, and it's like, and if I have to harm you, I'm harming my, yeah. my wife. Yeah. Yep. Mm, yep. Yep. So that's a tight situation mm -hmm. to be in, you know, mm -hmm. man, man. And, and sometimes we're in those kind of situations yeah. today, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. you got to watch how you move because, you know, yeah. somebody is to hurt your husband or your spouse. And, mm -hmm. and, and you mm -hmm. got to be careful with the words that come out of your mouth, especially when you're angry. Right. You know? Because yeah. those things sting, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. and you can't take them back once it's said, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, and only ask for forgiveness. And, and there's there's sometimes when, you know, married couple are placed in that position where the yeah. in-laws don't like you. Yeah. You know, yeah. and you have to remain a Christian and, and hold your peace. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. you you have to because there's you you get pushed to the limit at all times, especially if they don't like you, if they're after you. But you still have to remain godly, you know, mm -hmm. or try to re remain godly in yeah. all those situations. You know, yeah, because at the end of the day, it hurt your spouse, it hurt your, spouse, your children. Your children. You know? Yes, yeah, you know, yourself. You got to you think know, about especially. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you don't want them to be get in anger yeah. to where they're lashing out and they're cutting off things because, yeah. you know, it's not going to end good. They're not going to be happy. You That's know, right. he's happy not speaking to their family. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you got to watch how you move. And sometimes that shows the difference between maturity and immature because exactly. you see where sometimes people want that discord. They mm -hmm. come and trying to cuss out the mama. They want to have the place of, and they want to do this and they don't mind making their spouse suffer, you know, mm -hmm. and not looking at all it's hurting because you're on your high horse, you know? Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can be, you know, David, if he were to retaliate, he would not have been in the wrong. You know, he probably would have been justified by our standards. Mm -hmm. by our, that's right. That's right. But by God's standards, you know, God says, don't repay evil for evil. You that's know? right. And so you got to, it's hard walking humbly. It is hard mm -hmm. walking in, in humility, mm -hmm. but yeah. you got to, to understand God got it. You don't have to yes. do nothing, you yes. know? Yes. And your character will speak for you. It may take yes. a year, it may take two years, yes. but- it, you acting out of anger and you acting out of retaliation is only going to do more damage than it's yes. going to heal yes. anything, mm -hmm. you know? And that's, that's truly right on time with that too, mm -hmm. because there's a lot of people who go through that. You hear about in-laws. In yes. Now yeah. I can say that's not my story. Praise the Lord, but you praise can, the Lord. Amen. You know, praise the Lord. My I, story. We like in -laws, you know, so you can hear, I love my in-laws, but it's like you hear stories of, and we've all got married friends and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. you've seen it, you know, mm -hmm. where you hear where they have really turmoil. And it's like, when you yes. listen to it, no one's right in the situation. In the, you're right. all just kind of holding on to their standpoint and no one wants to let go and be humble right. in order to bring the peace, you know, because who suffers in the end? The children, you yes. know, the children that's are the, suffering. That's you know, the worst thing because most of the yeah. time in those situations, what happens is someone is telling somebody they got to make a choice. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Tell the and truth. That's the immaturity part of it. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. You, they don't even know what's going on, but you got mm -hmm. to choose. Choose. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, it's a it, sad it, day when they don't choose you. You know, right. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. So it's it's yeah. just it's just David is just giving us a whole lot of example to live by. Yeah. You know, just yeah. he respected Saul's anointing. He yeah. respected Saul as his in-law. You know, mm -hmm. he respect and and that's 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 what we lack nowadays, the respect that we need to have for each other. Yeah. You know, if you don't res if she if you don't respect your in-laws as your in-laws and see them, sometimes you don't even respect your own parents much more exactly. your in-laws. Exactly. You know, so you just you just got to develop that respect and that love for for God first, mm -hmm. then yourself, then you can learn how to respect and love others.
Amen. Amen. And that's, yeah. that's the key point too. Yep. Because it's like he coming against all, he's not sinning against anyone but the Lord. That's know? right. And because God put him there. And as we mm -hmm. talked about before that he's going to say, you know, when he removes him, God will remove him. You know, that's mm -hmm. not his job. That's not, mm -hmm. he has no dog in that mm -hmm. fight, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's the truth. Um, it, it's just a lot of life lessons here because two is, you know, being, being aware of your surroundings, mm -hmm. you know, if David was not aware of his surroundings, that javelin would have been nailed to the wall. You know what I mean? Yes. If he didn't feel in his spirit, it was time to get up, you know? So when you mm -hmm. feel in your spirit, God's telling you something or when it's time to move, you got, you got to go and, and, and really execute what's being told to you because mm -hmm. You don't know where the other side of it can lead and you mm -hmm. don't want to find out, you know, mm -hmm. hopefully you walk in, in that obedience and don't understand what disobedience look like because you're staying in obedience, you know, mm -hmm. but um, it's just, it, it's sad how Saul started off goodly mm -hmm. and he's here, you know, yeah. he's letting, he has let that spirit take over now, you know, mm -hmm. it's basically taken over to the point where he's sitting paranoid, mm -hmm. you know, that when you have no rest in your mind, it doesn't matter. You know, anybody with money or, or fame or, or things, you know, can tell you that doesn't feel anything. I love the way uh, there was a quote by one actor. I can't remember his name, but he has said, like, I wish everybody would get everything they ever wanted so that they can see that that's not the answer. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, is that it's not, you know, because it's like, what is it to profit? As the Bible says, what is it to profit, the, yeah. profit a man to gain the whole world, but lose his soul? It's you sad. know, that's the soul is one of the most neglected things that we neglect today. Our spirit, that spirit, man, we neglect it all day, every day. And mm -hmm. um, we harp on that here at Ministries of Hope for all those who are watching. Like we harp on that building up that inner man in God, building up that spirit, you know, mm -hmm. building up that spirit that God is giving you, building it up in him, because the Bible says in him, we live, move and have our being. Mm -hmm. And it's very important, especially in this day and age and the way we're walking, because mm -hmm. there is plenty of Goliaths around here looking as the mm -hmm. Bible says, you know, uh, Satan is like a roaring lion going around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he can devour. That's mm -hmm. his whole purpose. And his job is to accuse. He's the accuser. Mm -hmm. And in order for you to stand in front of God, blame is you're going to need God to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we can't do it in and of ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. David couldn't be this protected from all of Saul's advance at, advances at him if he was just going in his own strength. That's he right. Being on the Lord, you know, keeping mm -hmm. his faith in God and, and, and really putting one foot in front of the other as God said, tells him to go. Mm -hmm. and, and that's all we can do in mm -hmm. this day and age, you know, mm -hmm. um, and it's a lot right there. Yeah. And just to just to add to all of that, be just um, be mindful that as as um, minister said, David was alone with God for a long mm -hmm. time, building up that spirit man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, building up his inner because um, they said that the Lord is spirit, and if we worship in Him, in Him, in mm -hmm. spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. So when you build up your spirit, man, your body, your physical man, it, it's like uh, um, it's like a reflex action to do what mm -hmm. is right because mm -hmm. it's the the Word of God says what is inside of you that's gonna defile you, and if mm -hmm. you build that spirit man up inside of you, when it comes out, it's going to come out. Mm -hmm. um, um, um godly so david's action yes yes david action is because his spirit man is strong his mm -hmm. spirit man is built up you know the, the that's why he write he wrote all those psalm that we lean on today for yeah. strength you know because he, he is pouring out the spirit that god put in him in those words so that yeah. we too can gather from that strength and and build our spirit man up as well Amen. You know, Amen. so. Mm. That's good right there. Amen. 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 We have, do we have time, guys, to go on to the next or? Yes, it's okay. 34. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Brother uh, Thompson there, uh, reading verses, start at verse 12 and keep going until, I say stop because this is a lot, yeah. Amen. <clears throat> First Samuel chapter 19, verse 12. So Michael 
let David down through a window and he went and fled and escaped. Mm, let's pause there. Mm. So we see where Michael, his wife, um, also the daughter of the king, um, mm. had told David in the latter part of verse 11, if he's saying to him, if thou save not thy life tonight, tomorrow thou shalt be slain. Mm. So Michael let David down through a window and he went and fled and escaped. How many men would listen to their wives? That, I know, right? Climbing through no window. Look, tell the truth. She said, look, you're going to have to go now and or mm -hmm. else you're going to be gone, you know, and actually climb out that window and do what she say or mm -hmm. or, or go back and forth with her or how I, I won't say wife. Let's see how many people listen to their spouse when they say something or take mm -hmm. the advice, you know, and mm -hmm. heed some advice, you know, especially when you know they're doing it for your own good, because he he already knew as he mm -hmm. left that javelin the king there with that javelin he escaped enough that mm -hmm. was enough word for him to understand listen like it's deep now it's deep mm -hmm. deep you mm -hmm. know you may have been playing with it for a little bit but now it's mm -hmm. deep now it's time the the block is hot it's time to go mm -hmm. you know yeah and so for her to love him enough to because you're you're missing the spouse you know now he's not in the house mm -hmm. and we didn't have they didn't have cell phones and cars and things like that right, so right. who knows the next time she would have seen him or had contact with him mm -hmm. but his life means enough you know yeah. how many of us will put someone else's needs before our own mm -hmm. you know in a world that's telling us to wear self-care care about yourself and that's all mm -hmm. great great and mm -hmm. fine and dandy but it's not just about self. We have to come out of self, you know, mm -hmm. and and for someone else, you mm -hmm. know, putting ourselves on the line. Because as the Bible says, what you do for the least of these, you have done it as unto me. To me, yeah. You know? And so it's just interesting how Saul is there, but his children are 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 are, are godly, are mm -hmm. moving the way God wants them to. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know? yeah. And and I mean, it it all goes back to again respect, love, and respect. Yeah, um, yeah. David yeah. respected his wife some to the point where he he's going to heed to to her word, mm -hmm. you know. And it's like um, the wife love him enough to let him go, <laughs> you know. So and then um, the the way that he got. When when we when I when you first read, you know, let him down through the window, God will use the smallest of thing to take yeah. us out of the problems that we are in. Yeah. You don't have to, you don't need a whole lot of people um is looking for this big mighty um mm -hmm. miracle to be yeah. worked. It's yeah. sometimes it's tiny. Yeah. And if you're not in the word of God, you go miss it. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and you don't want to miss uh -huh. the stuff that will change your life forever because sometimes it's one word that somebody says. Yeah. That changes yeah. your life and your perspective forever. That mm -hmm. one little window yeah. that God provided changed David's um um position. Changed mm -hmm. his 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 life because mm -hmm. and and saved it. Mhm. Mm Come on. Amen. Amen. So that that unfortunately is all we have time for tonight. Amen. So at this point today, so at this point, we're going to go around the room and um go to Brother Thompson for Amen. final comment. Amen. So what I just sort of think about, you know, going back to what we read, you know, today and you know, previously is that. Um, you don't see Saul going to the Lord. You know, mm -hmm. I always think about, you know, since we started reading, starting from Genesis, you know, it always creeps back into my you know, mind when things are going wrong and they want something to change, they go to the Lord mm -hmm. for guidance. And, you know, David, or not David, but Saul is given, like we said, multiple opportunities where, you know, um, David is, you know, playing, you know, playing for him. His son is, you know, giving him sort of, you know, good, you know, guidance and, you know, perspective on what's happening, what he sees happening, but David is still, you know, doing what he, not not, not David, but Saul still doing what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. So we had to realize and, you know, from, just like we said, this is, book has given us, or this Bible has given us, you know, food for thought for our lives, you know, and what I've learned is that, you know, when there's something going on in your life that's, you know, either sh someone's showing you what you're doing wrong or something's happening, go to God and he will direct you on the right things to do amen, amen. praise the lord amen. minister I, I just love david's patience um 
I mean, yeah. as you can see, the Lord had been building his name up. He could have made a move on Saul's kingship at any mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. But he's so patient and he's waiting on God to order his steps. Mm -hmm. You know, that's mm -hmm. what I take from that. Because sometimes we have a blessing and you can see God arranging it. And then we just start rushing it. Mm -hmm. And then we miss our blessing. So mm -hmm. patience is a key. You know, we say move when the Lord say move. But when he say mm -hmm. stand, we need to stand. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord, Reverend. Amen. Um, what stuck out, uh, this study is the fact that, you know, ev Saul called himself putting all his messengers to David's house to watch him and to slay him in the morning. But we see where God provided a way of escape, as the yeah. Bible says, you know, we go through something, but he'll provide a way of escape. Mm -hmm. So when it gets hard and it gets tough and we get tempted to do the wrong thing, God is there providing a way of escape. If we call on him, you know, mm -hmm. he's going to keep us and and he's the only one who can do the keeping, you mm -hmm. know. So um, that's what I would say is just continue, you know, leaning on the Lord and trusting in his holy word, as the song says, he never failed us yet. You know, Amen. So turn around. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. There you have it. Let us go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for providing a way of escape, a way out of no way for us at all times. I'm asking you, Lord God, to help us to take this word to heart, Lord God, and help us to earnestly um, try, dear Father God, to, to be, Lord God, as humble, as patient, as responsible respectful as David is, Lord God. I'm asking you, dear Father God, to just give us, Lord God, the, your um, teach us how to, to, to display your character in our lives at all times. Thank you, Lord God, for all you have done and all you're about to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you so much for watching us, listening. Again, I'm inviting you down to Ministries of Hope Christian Church um, at 385 Garrisonville Road. Our doors are open. You are welcome. Um, come and join us for um, our worship. Join us on Tuesday for our prior line. The number to call is 605 three one three five three eight eight with an access code of three seven nine zero eight eight pound prior changes things um also um join us next week wednesday for a continuation of this bible study at 6 p.m on the same place same time 6 p.m um on wednesday thank you so much for joining us this sunday and may god move in your lives in a mighty way have a blessed sunday Amen.